Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Sam and Max in the Devil's Playhouse. Or Sam and Pharaoh in this place, since Max is still kind of trapped in there. And by the way, if you're wondering... We can try to go to Max, watch what happens. I wonder how Max is holding up. Maybe it just brings us back here. Looks like Max is stoking the fires of Discord. I'll see if I can add some fuel from out here. So anyway, you may recall all the little looks we had. I wonder some. Yeah, okay, Max still has future vision. Future vision? Let's see. No, I can't look at anything. What's that? Or that's just Sam. Anything else going to twinkle on me? Just the menu down there. Oh well. So anyway, well let's go down here and see if we can convince the big bug to walk over anywhere near the uh... See if we can convince him to walk over anywhere near that uh minion and try to poke out his eyes as the future vision suggested to us. What's with all the apes running around? I don't know and I don't want to know. I'm not getting anywhere near those animals. Hmm. Nice headphones. Listening to the game? Or maybe some black Just line? in case you forgot. Nah, these are my official museum guard emergency headphones. I gotta wear these so that Mr. Paperweight can tell me where to go in case of a security emergency. Of course I haven't heard from him in a while. You must be busy up there with that space gorilla guy. So, he's used to paperweight issuing him orders, huh? See ya, Sal. Be careful out there, Sam. This place is cooker tonight. Well, you may recall we have something that has paperweight's voice imprinted into it. But before we go strapping this on poor Sal's head there, let's take a listen and see if we can't get some other ideas here. See what Paperweight could tell us to do, or, you know, in this case, sell. Let us begin. Please make your way to the Melanzoic Era exhibit in the center of the main floor. Okay, we can have him walk around. Although it lasted for only seven weeks during the late summer of 56 million BC, the Melanzoic Era produced an incredible... Yeah, that's not gonna help much, so two won't help much at all. Gently yank the bone to hear the yank roar the of the Poyosaurus Henway. Okay, we'd have him yank a bone. Please make your way to the animatron or walk the over to the terrible beast, beast assaulting, assaulting the, city. the city. Okay. Humanity has long pondered about the eventual fate of the Earth. Today, thanks to sophisticated supercomputers, scientists have determined that so the not much work the there. Year. Turn the hourglass to witness the Earth's final moments predicted by accredited okay. apocalypticians. Please proceed to the treasures of the Forgotten Pharaoh exhibit. We can have him walk up there. The museum is proud to have recently obtained the preserved remains of the mysterious Forgotten Pharaoh of ancient Egypt. Okay, nothing helpful there. Now, Poke the eyes to see an Poke ancient the eyes. civilization hmm. spring to life. So if we can get Sal over to uh, the minion over there, we can have him poke the eyes. That's worth thinking about, isn't it? And finally, the pro please proceed to the Knights of Yog Sogoth. Okay, display. we can have him go there too. So the Order of Yog Sogoth. Da -da. To see the terrifying power of the Yog Sogoth tapestry. Pull the sword from the eyeball. Okay, so you remember future vision, so uh, Sal, they're poking the eyes of the gorilla, and then the gorilla beating the hell out of him. We want that to happen. So, we can have him go to, oh, say... We can have him go just about anywhere we want him to. And then we can get hopefully get him near the, the uh, minion. So let's try that, shall we? Of course, first, we've got to replace his headset with uh, this headset so he hears instructions. 
Hey, Sal, look. Three monkeys violating that statue of a head. Where? Thankfully, it's not too bright. Which is a good thing, since we put all the monkeys down in storage with the leather jackets. Okay. So let's see if we can get them to walk around the place. Welcome to the Museum of Mostly Natural History. Mr. Paperweight. Gee, thanks. That's the nicest thing you've said since you hired me. <clears throat> so, uh, what can I do for you, boss? Let us begin. Please make your way to the Melozoic Era exhibit in the center of the main floor. The dinosaur exhibit. You got it. Okay, and where's he standing? Is he standing close enough to poke the eyes? Now, poke the eyes to see an ancient, brutal civilization spring to life. I'd poke its eyes, boss, but I can't reach him. Anything else, boss? Okay. Please make your way to the animatron of the terrible beast assaulting the city. The beast attacking the city. Right away, boss. Now, poke the eyes to see an ancient, brutal civilization spring to life. Poke the eyes. Okay. I'd poke its eyes, boss, but I can't reach him. Anything else, boss? Hmm. So obviously this is not going to work out too well. And finally, the pride of the museum. Please proceed to the Knights of yogg Sagoth display. Knights of yogg Sagoth exhibit? Right away, sir. Now, poke the eyes to see an ancient, brutal civilization spring to life. I don't see any eyes to poke around here, boss. Anything else, boss? No, I think that had I think that'll do it for now. Boss? Well, if you don't have anything else for me, I'll just head back to the base. So he's nice and obedient. But if you recall, the grill is not moving. And Sal won't go anywhere else that we haven't directed him to go. I mean, you'll go upstairs, but that just results in him being out of range of the radio, so no big deal there. So we need to find a way to get him near the, uh... <clears throat> excuse me. Need to find a way to get him near the, uh, gorilla, or at least closer. Well, let's see. What can we do around here? Let's talk to the gorilla one more time and see if we can't get him to, hey, you know... Guy. Don't bother me, Tyrone. I've got to keep a lookout for Sam. I'm curious. Does your head hurt when you attempt to form complete sentences? <sighs> so he will attack Max. I'm rather enjoying this. Or, well, the Pharaoh, anyway. He'd probably attack Max, too. Oh, Why not? This is too I would. easy. So that's not helpful in the least. I'm rather enjoying this. So anyway, let's the keep looking around make, Can't here. you see we're busy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Ta. Ah. <laughs> so anyway, there's one place we have not been to yet. And that would be the office. Excuse me. Since we couldn't get through that door earlier. And now that we have the phone number to the office, let's take a look around. So this is Paperweight's office. What a dump! Indeed. Someone's coming. Why have you left the planetarium? That intergalactic bully is driving me bananas, and his minions are a threat to my beautiful museum. Can't you do something? Get a grip on yourself, man. Can't you see our long struggle to gather the toys is almost over? You think I don't know that? I've been dreaming of this second chance for decades! Then stop whining and get back in there! Yes, sir, Dr. Norrington. Right away, Dr. Norrington. Norrington. His imperious mm. attitude puts me in mind of a loot teacher we fed to my crocodiles for correcting my divine embouchure. You know, Max's patter is a lot less... Violent. Multisyllabic. Embouchure for... A loot. Huh. 
Anyway, let's look around in here, shall we? Looks like Paperweight subscribes to Obazoth's nonsensical Grimoire Club. Paperweight's quite the reader. A lowly scribe, then. Maybe. Four ancient diabolical summoning spells. And one pretty good chili recipe. We could use all those. We won't, but we could. This office could use a little tidying up. And a good firm raising. Indeed. Although I think the ashes would be easier to clean up. But anyway. Let's examine map, huh? Check it out, Your Majesty. An insanely detailed top-down drawing of the city. What a remarkable illusion of depth. Oh yeah, you didn't have perspective and vanishing points in your time, did you? Of course we did! Why, we had a whole chamber full of perspectives and a headdress adorned with vanishing points and... and... shut up! <laughs> but a picture of a city, huh? And we can direct Sal to go look at the beast attacking the city. And the gorilla will attack San or attack Max. Let's take care of that, shall we? Oh yeah. Let's save that for now, shall we? Let's take care of this real quick, like, shall we? And yeah, these are all the clues you really get. We can look around in future vision, but the only thing we see is him dancing. Talk about a chilling vision of the future. We are not amused. I'm kind of freaked out, obviously. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of here and set up the little final straw, as it were. So, whoops. Okay, Max. Turn into a city for me. Arrow. Max. One of the two. How amazing! We've been transmogrified into a glittering futuristic metropolis! But why do we feel like we're about to vomit? That'd be the East River. Try to breathe through your uh, mouth. <laughs> so anyway, now we have City Max. And we can't leave. Hey, guard guy. Don't bother me, Tyrone. I've got to keep a lookout for Sam. <laughs> Terrible beast attacking the city. Coming up. Let's see. I believe that was... proceed to the treasures. The Egypt exhibit. Eh, yeah, give it a second. He'll be back in a second. I hit the I'll wrong button. I'm back to base now, Mr. P. There we go. Just again. I'm... The beast attacking the city. Let's see. Ah, there it is. There we go. Now let's have him poke the eyes. Now, poke the eyes to see an ancient, brutal civilization spring to life. Poke its eyes? Really? Oh, uh, well, you're the boss. What in the name of Gorgar? Uh, what should I do now, boss? Hey! Ouch! My thorax! My beautiful thorax! By the under realms of Embo, what is going on out here? I kind of <laughs> hated doing that to poor Sal. Yes, most unfortunate. Beetles are sacred in my culture. Actually, I think he's a cockroach. Which really? is a beetle. Then let him rot. Of a type. General Skunkape. What? I would very much appreciate it if your minions would refrain from manhandling my employees. And I would appreciate it if you stopped using specious words like manhandling. Oh, take it like a man, you big ape. 
That's it! I've had it up to here with your incessant, petulant whining! Petulant? Well, I've had it up to here with your imperious attitude and your odiferous banana breath! Banana breath? Banana breath? This alliance is over! That did it! It warms my heart to see these two fighting again. At least I think it does. Sam better come get me before these two losers knock over my jar, or worse, kiss and make up! We hear your majesty. This move's gonna require some sneakiness, and that body you're wearing isn't really known for its stealth. Very well. Resistance is pointless, Terran flea! Eat my primordial wrath, monkey boy! It's about time. I would have been here two or three explosions ago if someone I know had the slightest bit of impulse control. Hey, my body's walking around without my brain. How'd you work that out? I found a loner in the creepy Egyptian exhibit. Nice kid, but a little bit of an attitude. Now let's get out of here before Goofus and Gallant figure out that we've played them for chumps. Come on, Your Highness. Your Majesty? The toy box! It's mine again! This is bad. The box! Sam, you didn't stick the brain of a psychically gifted, unstable adolescent pharaoh in my cute little body, did you? Uh, maybe. It's so cool! Must resist. Very bad. Norrington, help me! My hammer of Patal, the hairballs of Bastard. Should be leaving. You think? Ooh, real bad. And so ends another mind boggling mystery solved by the loping wits and the capriciously applied violence of the freelance police. Who's up for a sugar grenade? What are you talking about, Sam? I'm still a brain in a jar! Don't be silly, Max. You've always been a brain in a jar. No, I haven't. I'm a short, sexy lagomorph with an enormous mouth and dead, shark-like eyes. Hold that thought, little buddy. We've got some idolizing to do. Say what? Salmon Mac is handsome! Salmon Mac is cute! When, when we, we think, think of Salmon Mac, Mac we, we give a big salute. salute! Oh, you have got to be kidding! Attention, everyone! From this point forward, those little things at the ends of your shoelaces. Aglets? Yes! Aglets are hereby decreed to be the most horrible things in all the world! It's a good thing I don't wear shoes. Sam, snap out of it! Snap out of what? Ah! Just get me out of here! I gotta find my body! So, reality has been warped thanks to us needing to replace Sam and Mac needing to replace Max's brain there. Huh. Can't help but feel a little responsible for this. Oh well, I'm sure that feeling will pass soon enough. Anyway, it's time to call this video. When we return, we see what's up in Reality 3.0 since Reality 2.0 has already been used. Anyway, take care folks. See you next time.